Virginia Tech Hokies to knock off the Arkansas Razorbacks in the Belk Bowl. We welcome you to San Antonio, Texas. So far, a 3-0 Oklahoma State lead as the number 12 team in the country against the 10th ranked Colorado Buffaloes. Philip Lindsay on Colorado's second offensive series. Solid run out across the 30. A little bit of tempo here, and Philip Lindsay gets drilled by Jordan to finished in last place in the Pac-12 South four straight years. They won the Pac-12 South with an 8-1 conference record this year. Lou Fowl off the fake and to the sideline for Bryce Bobo. He stepped out of bounds across the four. Here is Philip Lindsay. First 1,000 yard rush. Sefo Lufau, a very good running quarterback, physical. Gundy, a seven game win streak before the loss to OU to finish the season. A little trick play here is Jay McIntyre, the son of Mike McIntyre, former quarterback in high school, slides under center and takes the action fake against the Blitz. Lufau's got a one on one matchup downfield, and it's his tight end. Last year, low snap to Lufau, and out to Philip Lindsay in the flat, slipping tackles and putting his head on its second offensive series. Lufau to Lindsay. And trying to pound ahead. Blitz coming from the Cowboys. Lufau too tall looking for Bobo, who wanted the flat with Davis Price since their main kicker Diego Gonzalez got injured. And offense. Mason Rudolph fires and finds Austin Hayes having a career season. What could be the last play of the opening quarter? A flea flicker. Mason Rudolph didn't have what he wanted with Chris Lacey downfield, so he released. And Jimmy Kilbert. Rudolph firing over the middle, looking for his punch, have gone inside the 20. The best percentage in the country. Oklahoma State leads the nation in opponent field position. It's mucked by Isaiah Oliver, back behind the 10-yard line. And who's going to end up at the bottom of the pile? Sean Irwin for Colorado, racing over to the football to try to snare it in a battle with Sam Walking Stick of Oklahoma State. And it looked like Irwin was indeed the man to record drive that starts inside the Colorado 10. And Sefo Lufau cannot connect with Bryce Bobo, and he takes a shot. That is a very important pop for them. Sefo Lufau on the run. To the, that allows this defense to bring some exotic looks. Lufau looking deep for Devin Ross, and he was unable to come down with it. Trey Flowers had the coverage, the Big 12 second team selection. Is able to defend, and it's fourth down. Tech. Booted away from the goal line by Kinney. And it will be a short kick with an excellent roll, and McCleskey lets it go for an extra few yards down to the 36. Running for some of those 52, so this drive starts from the 36. With a Rudolph throw to a sliding McCleskey near midfield. Against the four-man rush. Deep shot. This is what Oklahoma State does so well. James Washington dropped the ball. Gets hit hard right at midfield by Ryan Moeller. Yard line. It's been interesting. We haven't heard a lot about Austin Hayes coming into this ball game, and he's caught two balls and been the target for a third one. Excellent throw by Mason Rudolph. So what they're doing, they understand they're having to get away from Washington some, and these other guys have to pick up the slack. The San Antonio native with a couple of grabs already. 18 miles north of the Alamo Dome. Here is Carson in traffic, seeking space for the Utes. This could be a backwards pass for Chris Carson. It's a double pass for Mason Rudolph. Here's some trickery for the Oklahoma State offense, and Rudolph takes it near the 10 yard line. Play that I used to see Bo Schimbeckler use some. <laughs> what a play on the screen. And here is Carson. Launching in, he's got the first. And Grogan. The all-time Oklahoma State points leader. Surpassed Dan Bailey for that mark earlier this year. Makes it a 10 up. Matt Amendola will kick away. And now to the 25-yard Colorado Buffaloes. And it is Philip Lindsay trying to stretch to the edge and turn the corner. And he'll pick up a few yards. College football. Second down and six for Lufau. And he goes to Lindsay out of the backfield. Slips past one defender. Cover too low. Lufau will run it with a head of steam, and he gets close to the sticks the last time. And he'll send a high one McCleskey's way. He'll come up in traffic with a fair catch at the 34-yard line. They do have some depth at that position. And running right is Justice Hill to start this. Oh, the state drive. And Rougier in what he can bring on the defensive side.
Rudolph taking a deep shot, testing a Wuzier. And James Washington this time comes down with it against the banged up corner. Only marker thrown, Oklahoma State running it. Offense, five men in the backfield, five yard penalty, first down. First down and 15, play fake. Rudolph looking at Washington's direction. And sure enough, James Washington from the 22 yard line. Rudolph against the late pressure finds the Cowboy back. Blake Jarwin with a huge Jawan Seals block along. Short of the line of the game. The ball will be placed at the eight yard line. It will be third down and one. Please reset the game clock to eight minutes and fire back. Mason Rudolph is hot. And they still have James Washington in the field. And this third down and one. They still work on the ground with Carson. A 6'5", 235-pound guy. It's quarterback sneak. Rudolph able to backpedal his way to the five-yard line for the first down. And Chris down in goal. And they'll throw one-on-one -on -one to Washington against the The matchup that the Cowboys have exploited here in the first half. Ben Grogan on for the extra point. And Oklahoma State has turned it into a three. We'll see what the health of Tommy Armstrong Jr. is going to be. Riker Fife expected to start, but Armstrong was practicing today. Tony Joel Meese, let's see if Colorado can get better field position. That ball is fumbled loose, and I believe Colorado has it. Unsportsmanlike conduct against number nine of the kicking team. 15-yard penalty. This is number nine, first on sportsmanlike penalty of the game. Chance with field position. After the penalty on Jossie Akem. And the Oklahoma State front makes it happen is Trey Carter. The red Offense, number 56, five-yard penalty, second down. That missed field goal. So the penalty from Tim Linnott, the redshirt freshman right guard. Puts him back to second and nearly a quarter of the field after the sack and the penalty. Lou foul against the twist up front, running out of time, stays on his feet, Bear draws his way to the 24. Yeah, that's when you screen, draw something quick, or just sling it deep and hope you get something. It's usually a screen. Yeah, this is a screen for Lindsay, trying to make up a lot of ground. And Philip Lindsay to the outside, has the first down! 27, they get 38 from Lindsay, and they go with a trick play for Montez going deep. It's an underthrown ball, and it's picked up by Ashton Lampkin. From the three-yard line, Rudolph is going to take a shot for Washington, who comes back to the ball, beating Isaiah Oliver. So back to the ground, and trying to surge ahead is Justice Hill. And now Rudolph is going to motion out. And they'll go with the reverse back to Rudolph. Pressure coming, and he'll fire it away. Three timeouts at the end of the first half. Four-man Colorado rush, and Rudolph with that long out route finds another man, Chris Lacey, who had a career for the first time for Colorado. Here is Hill. The run off the tackle towards midfield. Give to Hill. Good penetration that time for Colorado from Samson Kafavalu. Blitz coming from Colorado. Rudolph gets rid of it, looking for Seals. Well defended, but a flag is thrown. Akello Witherspoon. Fourth down. Seals in Super Bowl referee Walt Anderson with us in the booth tonight. Big stop by Colorado here. Siner, who's an outstanding punter, didn't get a great boot on it, but it gets an excellent roll. Series after the injury to Sefa Lufa. And a whistle blows this play dead for a false start. On first and 15, Montez under pressure just flings it in the direction of Bryce Bobo. Spencer has done a fantastic job of making this an opportunistic defense. Montez has a man over the middle in Shea Fields. And Fields works his way out. If they don't make this first. And it is Lindsey. Such a tough runner for this Colorado offense. Setting up shop with first and ten. Setting up the screen on the inside for Devin Ross. And working his way right back. And get the ball to start second half. 
Smart by Coach McIntyre. Yeah. Regroup and start over. Philip Lindsay was getting into it before the halftime break, and the officials have to come in to try to help set. They need to get points on this drive to get right back in this ball game. Matt Amendola will kick it to Kyle Evans out of the back of the end zone. He's on the left side of the formation for Colorado. They fake the swing pass and they'll look for Ross immediately. Play action, and there's the pressure from Oklahoma State's front. We'll dump it off for Philip Lindsay in space. And Lindsay will do a good job of getting very close. And it will be Montez running, and a great job by Jarrell. Very good kick. Deep and high with hang time, and a good catch. Of First down, give to Justice Hill. Thomas's true freshman rushing record did Hill. And off the play fake to him, Rudolph fires and finds McCleskey. Another play action fake. Rudolph going deep. Washington, that's been his man all year long and all night tonight. James Washington to the 10. The state offense continues to go with tempo with Hill. What did Molly tell us about James Washington, Mason Rudolph? On the ground with Carson, and he'll shoot to a field goal. Play fake, Rudolph with time. Extends the play, still looking to the end zone. And he'll fire towards the any roster for a school outside the state of Texas. But that one a little tight and wide. Lufau at the controls. Good cut by Phillip. Try to throw, looking for Bobo, a little bit too tall. Good cut pressure. They're going to bring six. Montez with time running out will just sling it for Bobo. Incomplete. Alex Kinney. The deep punt forcing McCleskey back with a fair catch. At the one more year to prepare for the next level. James Washington wants to finish out his degree as well. As this drive starts with a 29 with the topic has obviously been very obvious and talked about over the course of these last several weeks. As Rudolph with a very misfire Rudolph to throw to next season. He's got four of them in the pattern now. And James Washington is one of them. It's Carson with a flag thrown to the near sideline. The cut by Carson and he gets closed out quickly by Rick Gamble. More than 12 on the field, five-yard penalty, still first down. Oh, and, and Moeller stopped the gas, so it's, it's just a wasted play. Keeping it on the ground with Hill. Some space up the middle and here on second and short, and indeed they'll go play fake, faking the screen. And Rudolph with nothing downfield will pick up the first down with a Moeller hit closing it out at the 48 in late. I think with Rudolph going down, perhaps the uh, fans believe that there should have been a late hit penalty, perhaps unnecessary. Wow. Targeting defense number 25. 15-yard penalty. First down. Previous play is under further review. Above the shoulders to the header neck with that right forearm, right elbow kind of going into the helmet of Mason Rudolph. Again, the Big 12 coordinator of officials, Walt Anderson, is in the booth with us providing some insight. Walt, what did you see? Yeah, from one angle, it looks like it might be shoulder, but from this angle that we just... Profile for targeting. The results of the play is the first down. Now, again, Walt Anderson is with us in the... Well, look to be something that we've seen be called a targeting a number game. Number 25, Mason Rudolph will run it again. Mason Rudolph will run it again. That's why I was a little surprised by Walt more than anything. Personal foul, defense, number 54. Personal foul, defense, number 54. 15 yard penalty, first down. Yeah. Personal foul, personal foul, defense, number 54. penalty. Things very slowly coming apart for Colorado. And Rudolph goes right back to his favorite target, James Washington. Does Colorado have a takeaway in him? Rudolph doesn't give him up a whole lot. And he rifles one looking for McCleskey, and it's a little bit too long. And that brings toughness for Washington out on the sideline right now. Obi Obialo has checked in for Washington. And they'll go with a draw play for Carson. And the first down inside the 15. Rudolph without his favorite target on the field, but plenty of weapons. And that four receiver set. Changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Looks like Colorado's just bringing four. And here is Justice Hill scampering between the tackles. And times they've passed it 28 times. 
Got the H back in the backfield. The fake to Carson. They throw it to the H back. The Cowboy back. And Blake Joe into the pylon for an Oklahoma State touchdown. Mechanic to keep in mind about a play like that. The officials will give some leeway on that for Oklahoma State with his helmet out of the sideline. Brought up by Kyle Evans. And a redshirt sophomore out of San Jose will take it out across the day for nothing on a day that's been filled with comebacks. Do the Buffaloes have one in them? As Bryce Bobo give him a spark. And could Lindsay do it as well? Philip Lindsay or just and Devin Ross typically they will go quarterback run so Lou foul going right back into the fight yeah, he has accepted an invite to it fumble on the exchange nice snare by Lindsay and he will serve empty set five receivers I'm bringing a man in motion and Donovan Lee and Lou foul has nothing there because Jarrell Owens it looks like they're coming Got a spy out there as well. The pass is shy of the line to gain. Caught by Lee Walker, who's on fourth down. And it is Lou Fowl. Stacked up. In this <laughs> Oklahoma State ball near midfield. And Joe Bob Clemens has seen his defensive line in this ball game. So good stop, Oklahoma State. And they're near midfield in plus territory for Justice Hill. The head of Steve Run as Gillum brings him down. You try and any little thing you can to change it up. They tried to go for fourth and one there. I would have gone for it. It's not going to turn me to get in for him. We'll keep it on the ground with Carson turning the corner. Good penetration that time by Ryan Moeller. Tended to on the sideline, and it looked to be the training staff popping his finger back into place. You saw the gin and you get to see that kind of play itself out both of these teams in this contest. Play action fake for Rudolph going towards the end zone. It is caught inbounds by Jerome Seals. And put that in just about as perfect of a spot as you can put a football on a throw to the 25 yard line. Sefo Lufau. A little too tall, almost picked off by the first thing you're thinking is the worst, I would imagine. Absolutely. Good to see James Washington back out there. Lee Walker with a good catch and trap. Right leg is his drive leg. So he steps with the left and has to drive off that back foot to try to fire. Incoming happened at, uh, at Michigan. There's Lindsay turning the corner. Good job there. Stay in bounds for some extra yards. Fourth quarter. Rufau on third down. Too long and incomplete. It will bring up fourth down. But you bring up a good point. Going forward on fourth down and four. Lufau. Complete. You find Shea Fields first down to midfield. Places and he stayed with his university. New foul. Wobbly throw caught by Lindsay in space. Orleans out there to give him the block. There goes Philip Lindsay and wrapped up inside the ten. The job by Stearns to close the play out, but there's Lou Fowl on the move. And he gets stacked up shy of the five-yard line. Stearns. Blitz coming from Oklahoma State late. Lou Fowl wrapped up, brought down back at the 15 by as well. Third down and goal. They go right back to the screen for Lindsey with blockers in front of him. He got hit initially by Justin Phillips and then closed out by DeQuinton Oswald. Bobo outside down here to the bottom. Four man rush against Lou Fowl who fires looking for fields incomplete. Richards with the coverage. And Oklahoma State takes over on down its own five yard line. And the 6'5 junior out of Rock Hill, South Carolina, Northwestern High School's Mason Rudolph, 21 years of age, takes over once again. He's been sharp tonight. Rennie Childs, who had that big game against Pittsburgh earlier this Handles a bit of a wide snap, throws the out route. Puts it in a spot where only Jawan Seals can catch it. That's been the story on the road in Waco. He made him the starting quarterback. He's been the starter for all but one game since. His child stretches left. Well set up. He also looked at Virginia Tech and LSU, but uh, coach found him and said, "Come on, you need to help me." Late offense, five men in the backfield, five-yard penalty, second down. He needs to do, and it's worked. Rudolph into a tough spot this time, but there is they get Marcel Aitman back from injury. He missed this entire season with a foot injury. 
Lacey kind of pushed. The state's trying to slow the clock down and get the game over with. Officials are being smart, letting the clock run anytime we can. Under Mike Gundy. Sefo Lufau feeling some pressure, but a good pass to the sideline. Caught by. 15 yard penalty, first down. Promotes Lufau. Yep. Yeah. Oklahoma State. We keep talking about the toughness of a lot of these guys. There's Bobo in space. We thought back to the air. Bob will juggle and down to the deck. Incomplete. Two foul. Green chase. We're going to third down and ten. Should be so pumped. Rifle over the middle for a first down. And Jay McIntyre will drag defenders to the 20. Eyes in the business. He's one of my favorite guys in the business. He's one of the best coaches ever. He turned around Northwestern. He did a national championship, so that's how good the Buffaloes were. And again, they've matched that double-digit win total, and a first down catch made by Shea Fields. It's first shutout since 2012. Lufau has space, and Seppo Lufau into the end zone to get Colorado on the board. Number 81, Sean Irwin, senior. These guys have not shut it down. They have not until the end of this ballgame. Oklahoma State trying to get a defender off the field. Legal substitution, defense. Penalty is half the distance to the goal. Trot. Blue foul will throw it out to Lindsey. Trying to beat the defense to the power on the guys. So 31 to 8. Fifth, our softball colleague, Oklahoma State alum. Probably pretty happy about this. And out of the pack comes Jawan Seals on the out. Passing has won a very efficient and effective Oklahoma State offense tonight. The other two guys will probably have the tie break against the second place or in the second place spot. One win shy of being the Big 12 champs as Seals runs it left. Both coming back. And this kid, the freshman, had a big season, broke every freshman rushing record of Justice Hill. In the record books and in the end zone. And what a 71 pound freshman out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. When you break up, uh, when you break relations, that's it is working for Mike and Oklahoma State. Kyle Evans, who hadn't returned to kick until tonight, is hit shy of the 20. It means a whole lot. You still got a senior quarterback out there competing in the one minute offense. Yeah, how about that? Seppo Lufau who had to leave the game. A Colorado record. And Adam, we were fortunate enough to start with this bunch. Worse, I hope he gets the Bobby Dodd Award that he, his dad got. And he keeps yeah. the coin in his back. I am rooting with everything I have that he gets to win that award after Absolutely. what he's been through. Losing his father earlier this for the night. And Taylor Cornelius hands off to Barry J. Sanders. And you're talking about recruiting. He, uh, out of the bucket. That was pretty good stuff from Kansas State last night. You got to be new. likely going to end up as the all-time passing leader in Oklahoma State. <laughs> it's just unbelievable what he does. And I, I was a recipient of a lot oh, of his Oh, I'm well aware. So not as a Bill Garrity, best spotter in the business, Ed Speedo, Scott Lightman all season long. We appreciate Walt Anderson in the booth with us, Mark Carr.